Hello everyone, my name is Jassa and today I'm going to be unboxing Suva Beauty Cosmetics and I picked these up during the Black Friday sale so if you're interested just keep on watching. So it came in this bubble wrap of course obviously in a box I just took it out the box and I got a little set that they had for Black Friday which was $45 US. So it came with the UV Brights, the UV Taffies, and the Hydro Liner in Doodle Matte. I also picked up their 610 brush, and I was so happy that they gave me a little UV keychain light. I'm so glad they actually added one for free in the packaging. So I was really excited about that. <laughs> it also comes with these little pamphlets. So this one is just like an indicator of how to use your Hydro liner slash FX so they have this and a little color chart for your primaries and secondary colors so they also have this one that goes for the UV brights and the UV taffies and it just shows you little cool designs of how they used it so I was originally looking at these through Morphe and then I was like why not check their website to see if they have an even better Black Friday deal and they did I was originally looking at the UV taffies in Morphe and then when I went on the website and they had that like bundle for this this and this for only $45 I was like say no more I'm getting that this is the one that I was originally looking at the UV taffy one and it comes with a brush inside and these are really nice neon pastel -y colors and I thought this one would be the best and it's super cute and I love that it comes with a brush, so technically I didn't need to get the 610 brush, but I personally wanted it. And then you have the UV brights, and this one is just more extreme colors in my opinion. I wasn't totally wanting this one, but the bundle came like that, and I was like, why not try it, you know? You get more stuff. And it comes with an another brush, so... It's great. And then you have the hydro liner that's half white, half black. It just looks like this. And I thought that was great to like mix to get grays and all that other good stuff. Or just in general, you need a black and white liner, you know? I don't believe that these like pop, but I'm not sure and we'll find out together. So this is the 610 brush. It is a super fine liner. The tip is super thin and I love it. It's pretty dense. Maybe when it gets wet, it'll be more flexible. Let me compare it to my MAC 210 brush. So I've had my MAC 210 brush for a while, and this is how it looks compared to the Suva Beauty. So this one is the ones that are in the palette. It doesn't have a name, but they're just called their fine liners, and the tip is like this. Comparing it to the MAC 210 brush, you could definitely tell a difference. And then comparing it to the 610 brush, this one being the one that's in the palette and this one being the one that I bought, which is the 610 brush. I believe the one that's in the palette is just a little bit more thicker and a little longer. And I will be using all three of the brushes just so I can see if there's like a difference, although the two in the palette are the same. So I'm gonna move you guys closer so we can get started on the eyes. Okay, so I believe that's pretty close. And I'm going to start off with the UV Taffies, which is this one right here, using the brush that's in the palette. And I'm going to wet it with some water. I have this little ceramic bowl since high school and I just put some water in it because why not? So I'm just going to saturate the brush a little bit. I'm going to mix it into the light blue, which is this one. So far, so good. It is super bright and it's so cool. It looks like a little cloud. I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh my God. So what I'm gonna do is try to use all four for this eye. I'm gonna get a little thicker. I've never tried this before, so don't judge me if I get it weird. <laughs>
so I don't know how the pink is picking up, but it's pretty bright in person. So this is the UV taffies. I am so impressed with how it looks in person. I don't know if it shines bright through camera, but in person, it just looks like I'm about to go to a festival. I know me probably looking straight up, it does probably cover it up because I do have hooded eyes, but it's still so cute. And this is my first time ever trying even like an eyeliner like this, so... I think I did a pretty good job and these blend in together so well so like you don't really see uh what is it called like um like it's not very choppy so I like that a lot so on this eye I'm gonna do the UV brights and they kind of look like this and let's get started on this side. I'm not sure how I should do the color story, but let's just try kind of how I did it on the other side. So I'll start with the orange first. Ooh, this is great. Oh, still wet. So one of the cool things that you can do when this hasn't dried yet is actually clean it up with water. So I got a little bit of orange on my lid, but it's okay. This is how the UV brights look. So instead of yellow, I went with orange, and then I went with the green, the pink, the purple, and then the blue, just to follow kind of the same color story. Also, let me just back you guys up. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna give my little short first impressions. These are amazing. They blend in so good, and I think they look in incredible you definitely need a little cup of water or a little shot glass if you have to just dip your brush in and to clean it with each color that you want to use if you're using multiple colors i only actually used the brushes that were in the palette and they worked perfectly fine i feel like i could still achieve a thin line and a thick line first impression of the uv brights they're nice but they're not my favorite palette like the uv taffies are definitely hands down my favorite but these are pretty nice to add on things and since they do shine that's great um i just did a little shine test right now and it's still nice to have in case i want to do any art on my face or anything like that i think this is just a great addition to have and i love that it comes with a brush so no complaints there also the uv taffies i mean come on these are great i think they're such a good palette and yet again with the brush included why not i'm gonna do some doodles on my face with the black and white one since it's conveniently called doodle so i'm not sure as to what to do on my face but maybe i'll just draw some like flowers i was really into drawing flowers over the summer for some odd reason i think i saw somebody on instagram do like drawings like actual drawings not on their face or anything it was just regular drawing so I think I'll just try that out since I have black and white and I'm gonna use the 610 brush I've never done face art so if it's not great you know don't judge me I'm having fun So I'm starting off really lightly because I don't want to mess up.
So this is my little flower doodle. Yes, it's a doodle because it's not perfect, but it's just something that, you know, whatever, I just did. It's really cool that you can make like shadows and all that. Just super fun. I look like I just came from a kitty's party, but it's such a good, oh my God, I'm in love with everything that I got. And one thing's for sure, I forgot to mention this when I was talking about the palettes. Do these not remind you of um like first grade when you used to like finger paint or water color paint or whatever so i thought that was so cool it just brought back so many memories and another thing that i would like to mention just in case you guys do end up ordering any of these from suva beauty i personally recommend them but they did send me an email saying five things you need to know about your hydro liners before you start creating when they sent that it comes with a little picture saying my hydro liner arrived dry why can't i use it Obviously, you must use water to use these. And then the other question is, one of my hydro liner doesn't look like the other. So if you get these little components, sometimes they might look different in like how much is in it, but they explain it all on the little link that they send you. They also mention this question, how do I mix my hydro liners to create new colors? So the cool thing about that is that on their website, they do have a mixing chart, but they also send you, like I said, but they also send you, like I said, this little pamphlet that gives you like a mixing chart just so you can get familiar with it. And it's a color mixing guide. And it just gives you like pro tips, Suva mixology, and all that. So you definitely have something to help you out. And then the last question was, why do the UV shades smell? So that was the thing that got me to be like, I need to click that because I want to know why mine smell. So one, they're water activated. Two, they have versatility. And three, the smell. So I went to three and it says a UV reactive Hydra FX may arrive to you with a smell. This smell is common with UV pigments. At Suva Beauty, we intentionally do not mask the smell by adding other scents as it may cause other irritations. Great. The product is 100% safe to use and will go away over time. If the smell is quite bothersome, we advise leaving the cap off the product overnight for a couple of days in a sanitary area to air out the smell. So the smell is nothing really to be worried about. They're just not trying to mask the smell for us because adding fragrance and especially putting fragrance near your eyes is very irritating. So I like that they have an explanation for why it smells and I like that they say that if you leave it uncapped, and in a sanitary area that it will go away the smell so fourth is the appearance just the difference in how they look in each little container so the fifth one is longevity your hydro liner will never dry out hydro liners are meant to return to their solid state after each use meaning they will dry but that doesn't mean they're not going to be able to use afterwards because you can reactivate it with water. Always leave the cap off to dry before storing away to avoid water retention within the pot. So I will uncap this because I forgot about that. Gels and liquids tend to have a short time frame when it comes to drying out and being no longer usable, but not the hydro liners. And yeah, that's pretty much what they inform you in this little email when you click the link. And I thought that was super, super helpful. And for anyone that had that question of the smell or whatever, because I definitely did. I was like, why do these smell funky? Like, I don't know if I should be putting these near my eyes. And then this email popped up and I was like, lit. Thank you for letting me know. And yeah, so I'm gonna turn off the light so you guys can see this glow. Future me, just in case my video didn't really get the full effect. This is how the flower looks and the white really stands out so that's one thing and then this is the uv taffies and this is the uv brights and they look amazing and it's really cool so that concludes my little suva beauty first impressions try on and everything i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this was really informative for you guys because i literally just heard about it during black friday i was i don't know looking through morphe and i was just like oh they have this what is this and then i saw the brushes first that's what intrigued me because i really like thin brushes but then i saw that that you can do this and i was like 
I need that in my life. And also let me know if you guys are deciding to pick up any Suba Beauty products. They are definitely worth the try in my opinion. I really like them so far. And let me know if you guys picked up anything during Black Friday. I definitely did aka what's in this little box right here but that would be for another video and yeah until next time bye